Welcome. I'm Luz van der Heide from the Netherlands and I'm the inventor of Art and Stitch software for um, to digitize your own quilt patterns for long arm quilt systems. So let me show you how easy it is to make your own patterns. Okay, this is our Art and Stitch software. This is the design page and here are the drawing tools. Um, you could draw from scratch by just clicking on the button, take a button and just draw. And make a silly little flower. And play with it. For example, with a magic circle. And you can put any number of, uh, of flowers in there automatically. And then just use the controls to make that a nice composition. Okay, there you go. And then connect all because you don't want those separate elements that would mean starts and stops and we quilters, we hate start and stops okay and then don't blink, this is the way to get it into a quilt mode by just assigning stitches right here and then you would save save as in the format of your quilt system handy quilter here in this example and then you would just save it but let me do another one because drawing from scratch is well it's fun and it's easy but if you don't think you can do that, here's another way. You can trace. If you can't draw, you can trace, because that's what you learned in kindergarten. Let me pick up one of those images there inside the software, just to, to get you going and, and practice. Here is a piece that I, um, just a small photograph made of a, an antique chair of my grandmother. And with the backdrop tool you open it. And then let's make, let me make that a little lighter over there. That way my own drawing that I put on top will be, uh, have more uh, contrast. So let me take the three point arc tool again here in this case. And let me just try tracing it. Mm, let me see where I go. This is a circle. Um, that's another circle. And let me go back over itself there. And you just trace in what you see as a pattern in there. Okay, it's symmetrical, so I just do half, hide my background image, and then do a copy and paste, copy and a paste, and mirror the, the copy, move it over there. Be sure that they're both on the same level by clicking the alignment button over here. Let me press the space bar here so that, that everything fits the view. Select both together connect and let me have fun with that transform and let's rotate that 45 degrees and then here magic square these are fun tools there's a lot to be done with uh, with that but just let me show you one thing and uh, that looks pretty good and then just if you see here in sequence view these are all separate objects and still you don't like them as separate objects you want to connect them here you go, connect objects, close, and then assign stitches, and that makes it suitable for quilting. There's only one thing to do before you actually send it to a to USB stick for your um, quilt system, is make it in a size that you want to quilt this. Well, this would be, I think seven, seven inch would be a nice size. So let's take that into seven, click on apply, and there you go, finished. All I have to do now is to save as, choose the handy quilter format because I'm going that to stitch that on a pro stitcher and let me put that on my desktop and let me name that, well just fun, literally, yeah, click on save. Oh, I could have named it uh, my grandmother's chair or something like that. Okay, I minimize this, go here and where is it, there is my just fun. And let me go into computer and find my USB stick. Here it is. And just move it over there. There you go, that's just fun. Close it. Take it out. Okay. And there you go. It's on the USB stick now. And then we take it to the quilt system. So here we are at the Handy Quilt Fusion. And here's my USB stick where I saved my design on. 
So let's put a few sweet stick inside and then wait until it's reading inside uh, the machine. And go into library and uh, go into load pattern. I have to wait until that light stops blinking. So I can load pattern now. Hit on E. Okay, let's do this again. Load pattern. There you go. That's what, what I was looking for. Here's the file that I just saved, just fun. You can load it. Okay, and then click on Quilt. And then let me do a reposition pattern so that I can get it exactly where I wanted to stitch it. So suppose I want to stitch it over here. I click on Find Center Point. There you go. And then I'm done. I can do a run quilt now. Start quilting. These settings are all okay. I can just click on start quilting. over itself, but I didn't take the time to edit it and take away those crossing lines. So it's exactly what you see on your screen is what you get here in the feeding machine. So that's my grandmother's chair, or at least it's part of my grandmother's chair. And then it's just showing how easy it is to take anything, anything that you like, uh, to be a pattern, can be a pattern. Just open background image in Art and Stitch, trace it, assign stitches to it, save it in the format of your quilt machine. background image before and I liked pattern so I guess I'm going to save it. <laughs> this is just one design that I made of that chair of my grandmother. That's just that carved top pat, uh, part of the of the wooden chair. And the arm legs have different patterns inside, well different carvings. I think I could pull off 20 patterns from that one chair. So anything, anything that you can see um, can be, become a quilt pattern. Uh, Tuscany uh, balconies, well you have to go to Tuscany first of course, but uh, concrete embellishments on buildings, um, carpets on the floor, uh, those little tiny uh, things on wallpaper, it just can be a start of a pattern and in the end if you start tracing and stuff it won't even look like the original, but it will be a great pattern. But thank you for watching.